Hey everybody, there's a pretty hard event right now in uh, Makai Wars here. So, this is the Lanzarote event. There's a uh, little under five days left to complete it. Uh, took me a couple days to get together a team that fully, uh, fully beat it. But uh, first of all, oops, wrong character. The, the goal of the, the event is to get enough uh, stones to summon or enhance Lanzarote here. Um, she was already in a another event, which I already got her to plus 6 from that event. But you can get stones up to plus 10 for this one. Which, um, she's basically a slightly altered version of a generic archer. But generic archers happen to be one of the best two-star characters in the game. Probably the best, other than the Dullahans, which have the insane get an extra turn after defeating an enemy boost. But uh, what Lanzarote has is, the main thing they have is they can spam skills like crazy. Their skill 2 can be used every 2 turns. You eventually get the cooldown of just 1 turn. Their skill 3, which adds uh, confusion in her case, can be used every 4 turns. And it adds confusion and has a full 3x3 three three range. So, it's a very good skill to be able to spam. Their other skills aren't super amazing, but they deal more damage to flying characters. Which is pretty much anyone that hovers or has wings. And they take reduced damage from regular attacks, which can be a little bit useful in uh, SB10. I said, not the absolute most overpowered unit, but getting a plus 10 Lanza is pretty cool, so that's what I've been going for. What it took for me to finally beat this 100% consistently is everybody had to be really fast. So, most of these characters are just my strongest characters in general. The, uh, the one that really makes everything work is, um, having Serafini here because she can boost my speed. Um, uh, having everybody at over 225 speed seems to be enough to always move first. Uh, I don't have enough... I don't quite have enough on some of my characters. Woo! Um, but with Serafina's speed boost, it, uh, changes it from... You know, a few of my characters move first to everyone does. So I got everyone over 200 speed. Uh, over 210 in case of everyone except Val. But because of Serafina's speed boof, boost for male characters, he's over 102. So... What I do is I try to use as few skills as possible to clear this first team. Basically, the, the gimmick of this set is that the enemies are really fast, hurt a lot, but they don't have a ton of HP. So as long as you go first and you use your skills well, um, you can do some pretty good stuff to them. So, one option that you can do in this is kind of try to defeat the enemies and then kind of wait out your extra turns to recharge your skills. Uh, my team doesn't really need to do that, but I'll kind of show you how at the end of this turn. So, sacrifice at least one skill three, I would say, to clear out as many enemies as possible in this first set here. barely alive so that actually went really bad usually I usually at least two or three of these characters gets knocked out but I confused one and I shouldn't lose anyone so it's not really a big deal so just kind of play mop up here on the second turn Artina took a lot more damage than I would really like but she should still be okay so what I like to do if people are a little bit too wounded or if I need to recharge my skills I kind of block in a single enemy unit um, but, hmm. this should kill it. oh not quite I like to block in a single enemy unit like this archer here and then um, just kind of all right that'll do I like to block in one enemy unit ah that's annoying, but I should still be okay. You can kind of block them in, and especially with um, Valkyrie and Yggdra here, if you wait, they kind of heal on their own. I'll let you see what happens when I skip her turn. She heals. And so I kind of do that to get my skills back up. As long as you have 15 to 20 turns, you should have more than enough for the second wave. So, second wave is the real show. First wave, anybody can beat the first wave, really, as long as you have reasonably leveled up characters. But this is the hard one, because the Mothmen have insane speed, and the stupid deer buffs everyone the first turn, usually. On rare occasions, it will try to attack instead, which is kind of a free win, but you don't really depend on it. 
So Sarah really is just here for the speed boost. As you can see, other than the deer, we're going to go faster than everyone. Uh, it's okay if you go slower than the deer. The deer is crazy speed. Um, optional, but good to have. You can potentially debuff um, the speed on uh, Lanza there. So I'm just going to opt for... Actually, I think I will go ahead and buff attack. Yggdra is very useful because of her uh, attack buff there, so yeah, it, it basically always does that. Pretty much always. Oh, dang. Um, I forgot that I had used her skill 3. I should still be- alright, this is much hairier than usual. This is a lot more difficult- oh, there we go. No, we're still good, though. A good thing about this setup that I have is that I have two chances to debuff Lanza. Lanza does pretty crazy damage. And she can hit you in a 3x3, three three, which almost always hits at least three characters in your party. Uh, but I can confuse her with Val, and I can debuff her damage with Sarah. So this went... Bad luck in everything except for the debuffs on this turn, but... It's still enough that I'll be perfectly fine. So she'll probably KO Serafini here, that's fine. Sarah has already done her part for the battle. And this is probably gonna be a KO next time Val has a turn. Yep, he's got his skill 2. Love his skill 2 for that extra damage, because it just recharges so fast. So, that is my 100% successful way to clear this. Every time you clear this, um, the 30 AP final stage of this one, you get between 3 to 10 Lanzarot stones. You only need 50 to summon her or to awaken her plus 1. So, if you get those 10 drops, it's really nice. Um, personally, I'm going to be using as many sandwiches as necessary to get it to plus 10. It's just nice to be able to have a plus 10 character. And uh, she's only a 2 star, but she is one of the best 2 stars there is. Um, it'd be even nicer if you could do this for a Dullahan, obviously. But uh, you know, let me use this. Ooh. Hi, Parker. So usually... Hopefully this will go better. Usually I do spend that skill too, and then this should wipe at least two of these out. Uh, if I don't get crits, the, some of my power is pretty crit based, so sometimes I get unlucky. And my characters are set up for pure speed. Um, the, the way I did that for the most part is just five to seven star gems with pure with speed as the base stat. That is for the most part the. Uh, trick that was used there. Parker, do not sniff the mic, please. So, hopefully that helps you beat Lanza. I just figured since I had so much trouble myself, I'd do a little video on it. So, good luck.